Okay, so here we have our completed blog. There are 250 words. I have the title. I have my image. So the last thing I need to do is the MLA citation. I put it in bold down at the bottom, and I also separated it from the rest of the text. I want to be very, sh very clear, and I want Mr. Wood to see there's my citation. So make it bold, make it big if you have to. Okay, it's there in your face. Don't make it too big. I mean, you don't want it like that. It's a little ridiculous. You can just go normal, as long as it's in bold or something like that. Now, how do you get the citation? There's, it depends on the source. So if you're quoting from literature, like a book, the process is slightly different. If you're quoting from a website, again, different process. But I'll show you the basics. Uh, one, everybody who has a Patriot High School account has a, let me make sure I'm signed in first. Yes, Alex Trebek. Okay, we're signed in. Make sure you're signed in. Okay, I gave everybody with a Patriot High School account a free easybib.com account. Can I get a round of applause, please? <laughs> See, if you're not clapping, it's because you don't know what it is. But once you know, it's, you, it's going to totally save your life. I mean, this is not only for this class, but EasyBib, I used it all the way through college, bachelor's, master's degrees. I used EasyBib.com. All right? But you still have to know the basics of MLA. EasyBib.com doesn't do your citations just automatically without some kind of input from you. So you still sort of have to know what you're doing to use it properly. It's not always 100% correct. So it's a starting point. And when you get into college, you can use it to begin, and then you might have to go back and fine tune some things, okay? It's only a machine after all, but it could definitely give you a very good start. So we're going to click on, uh, you see I clicked on more, then I click on Easy Bib right there. So the good thing about it being connected to your Patriot High School account is that it saves your work. And if you're doing a research paper, even for your other classes where you got to do papers, uh, you can do research and it'll save your work cited page and put it in alphabetical order for you. Okay, so that's one of the benefits of it. So here I am. I'm in Easy Bib. Um, as you see, there's tabs at the top where you can do different things. I don't recommend Study Break. That's just kind of a waste of time there. Um, you're going to get pounded with ads, as you see here. Okay, because that's what makes it free. What we're going to do is, I'll just go to bibliography. And um, over here in the tabs, this is where, you know, what a, is, was it a website, was it a book, a newspaper, journal, or there's 58 other options listed here. You know, oh, I got it from a lecture or a speech, or I'm quoting a court case, or all of these different sources. Easy Bib will, <coughs> sorry about that. <laughs> okay, and you know what? Let me just get that word off the screen real quick. Uh, that's much better. <laughs> that's a little better. This is what will happen to you if you don't do your work cited page. Okay, so if I'm quoting from literature, in this case, I got the, the lines from the textbook. But I don't want you to use the textbook as a source. The reason why is because I want you to practice using other real sources. Now, you can get your material from the textbook, just like I did. That's totally fine. But what I want you to practice doing is quoting from the real source, which would be a book, right? So let me show you the easy way to quote a book without ever walking into the bookstore or the library. What I'm going to do. In fact, I worked on many papers at UC Riverside, never stepped foot in the library. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to go to Google. Let's go to Google here. Okay. Uh, I, obviously, I could have done it in my search bar, but I'm just trying to show you guys visually what we're doing. Okay, so I'm just going to look for Macbeth, the book. Now, if you just type in Macbeth, oops, I have a little 
thing, Accento. Uh, you're going to get all kinds of results, right? Wikipedia, Sparknotes, uh, the whole play, blah, blah, blah. That's not what we want. We want the actual book, right? There's a couple ways to do that. You can click on over here on the left, books. Now it's going to search for books that Google has scanned. So Google has scanned millions of books from the libraries, the Library of Congress. In fact, a lot of people are trying to uh, sue Google, and they've been in trial for many, many years. But until the trial gets settled, Google just keeps scanning away to your benefit. Okay, so uh, here's a bunch of books right here. Uh, now, look at there's a graphic novel. Cool. These are all books with Macbeth. But another way, and here's the secret if you're going to do an actual book. I'm just going to go to Amazon.com. I'm going to pretend that I'm going to buy the book. So let's go to Amazon.com. Actually, I should have just typed in Macbeth and Amazon. Here it is right here. Oh, that's actually. Oh, am I still in Google Books? Let's go back to everything. Here it is. So here's a book, Macbeth by William Shakespeare. Right? Okay. Here's the secret. ISBN number. Every book that's published has a number, just like your fingerprints, that are unique to that book. If you can pull that ISBN number, it's going to unlock your citation. So, usually, it's found right there. Do you guys see it? Where? ISBN 10. Do you see these? Okay. Which one? Um, either one. I'm going to do the newer one, ISBN 13. Hopefully that'll work. How do you know if it's newer? It's 10 and 13. So just pick oh. the, the 13's the newer one. I'll try that one. So I'm going to copy that. Let's go back to easy bid. I'm quoting a book, right? So I click on book. It tells you search by book title keywords or ISBN. There it is. So I'm at, I'm just gonna go ahead and paste that ISBN number, click cite this, and it's gonna search the internet for that book. <coughs> oh, there it is. It's right there. Okay, select. Look, it already filled in most of it for me. Publisher, author, <coughs> everything. Nice, right? So what you want to do is try to answer as many questions as possible. Obviously, we don't have the book in our hands, so we're going to cite the whole book, not a chapter or section, because we don't have the physical book, so we'll just cite from the whole book. Okay. Um, everything looks good. Do you see how we want to put as much information as possible? All right. It looks like we have what we need create citation there it is in perfect MLA format do you see it right there awesome. I'm gonna copy it and, you just put it on the and then go back to my blog and paste it okay. got reformatted so I'll just make sure it's in bold right there do you guys see that perfect MLA it's got the last name, first name of the author. These are the other collaborators. The title is in italics, the publisher, the colon, the year it was printed, and the genre all there for you. Perfect, in order. That's an MLA citation from a book, OK? So I think I'm ready. I'm going to publish post. Let's view the post, or let's view our blog. And look, there it is. Doesn't that look nice? OK. Citation, 250 words, graphics. We're all set. One down, three to go. <coughs> all right, so that's how to cite from a book. Now, if you're citing from a website, the process is similar, except you're just going to click on website right here instead of book. Oh, sorry. OK. <laughs> click on website and instead you're gonna put in the uh, website so let's just try to find a website let's say I was going to Macbeth e-text this is for any website I'm just gonna go to a website here's one okay fine let's go here 
Yes, it's 11, 11 a.m. All right, so here's the database. Now, how do I cite something like this? Hmm, well, let's go to the eTech Center homepage. This might give me more information. <coughs> Okay, so first thing, here's what we're going to do. We're going to copy that address right there. Because we don't have an ISBN number because it's not a book. It's a website. So I'm going to copy the address. We're going to go back to EasyBib. Make sure the tab is on website. We're going to paste the address in, and we're going to see if it can auto-cite our book. doesn't always work. Okay, not found. Okay, that's fine, and that happens. So what we have to do is do it manually. So let's go to the source type. Content published originally on a website. Is that true? Yeah, yeah. okay. Article title. Let's go back. It was actually, uh, maybe this is just a database. It's not even a website. So let's go back to Easy Bib. And we might have to change a couple things. <coughs> All right. Database. Do you see that tab right there? That might be better. I'm um, published. It's a. What kind of database is it? It's like a book one, right? There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. All right. Who is the contributor? Do we have one? Let's look. Do you see any names? We don't, do we? No. Fine, leave it blank. Any editor, compiler, translator? No, we don't know. It's unknown. Then leave it alone. What's the source title? It's the, uh, we'll just do this one, right? There it is right there. Okay, so we'll plug this in. Uh, is there a volume? No. Okay. See, so you only plug in what you know. What else? Publisher? Is there a publisher? Is it? Is this? Is this the publisher? I think so. So, where's that gonna go? Let's see. Well, how? Hey, hey, here's a database. What's it? What kind of? It's the uh, electronic tech center right as you see it does take a little bit of time to get your citations right but all you're doing is answering questions I mean that's not that hard date accessed today right so just click on today Boom, oh, there it is alright um, any other info do we have the city University of Virginia library right okay so I need to put that somewhere Virginia. It's in Virginia, right? Oh, it's a state. I'm sorry. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> oh, wow. It's been a while. All right. I don't see where to put it. Okay. University of Virginia. And we, library. And yeah, we don't have a city, right? So, do we have a year? Don't put 1564, oh. <laughs> nobody. Okay, so, no, that's all we have. So basically what I'm trying to show you is that when you have a website, you have to be careful with the questions, and you just try to answer as many as you can. That's what I'm trying to communicate to you. So I've done the best I could with what they gave me. Now let's create the citation. No, don't worry about the URL. Okay. Um, so... Here's my citation right there, you see it? And does it make sense? That's the author, right? That's the name of the article, this is where it was published. This is the database, it's web, and that's the date I accessed it. So that is the MLA format. All right, so you guys get it? A website, do the best you can. With a book, look for the ISBN number. All right, so I'm done.
I'm done with that part of our presentation.